tuned into your own voice. That for whatever reason, when I was, when you're improvising, you don't have a script to lean on. There's no right or wrong way to play a character, like a, you know, a role in a written script. And I couldn't second guess myself in those moments. Like if you were going to succeed at all and be good, and I was an A plus student enough to be like, okay, the task is I have to create a scene and it needs to be funny and I need to connect with people. And so whatever impulses I had to check that box of doing a good scene forced me to not second guess myself. And I really think when it was happening and when I was doing improv, I didn't realize what feeling I was feeling. I couldn't put a name to it, but it really was one of the few places it, that I had to 100% get behind my choices in order for them to work. Yeah, 100% confident. And the more confident I was, it didn't matter what character I was doing or um, what choice I made, I realized it was just the fact that I was making the choice and giving it 110% that people were responding to. Yeah, because I could really yeah. embody the character and I could really embody it. And it just felt so good to be in that space. And then when you get off stage, I mean, I could judge myself, you know, and fret about, oh, that choice and that choice and, you know, beat myself up over whatever. But while I was on the stage, you just can't do it if right. you want to be successful. And so I think she uh, saw me in a light when I was on stage where I was probably my most sure-footed and confident and thought that that's where you need, that's what you need to do. Yeah. 